Hey everybody, it's Bruce and H. Calls. I'm out here with my latest Nightcore, and I love Nightcore stuff. I buy a lot of their stuff, and they also send me things. And so they sent me this HC68, um, super bright, super bright. And every time I turn it on, I mean, it's so bright, I get blinded all the time with it. I see spots. Um, so it's we're going to get into a lot of that later on, but in brief, uh, it has a 2000 lumen max brightness, and that's only for a short time. We're at 1800, it's like the, the longest you can get uh, that'll last for a certain, a longer time. The, the 2000 is only like 30 seconds. I'll put all the stats down below, uh, all the different lumens. It goes down to one lumen up to 2000. It has a spotlight and a floodlight. And then you can go back and forth, and I'll show you all that, but you can actually, like it'll go dim on the spot, and up on the flood, and either way, or you can stay on one or stay on the other. It has red light, it has low red light, high red light, blinking red light, SOS strobe, strobes. Um, the lowest, it'll go 800 hours, and it'll go down like two meters of waterproofness. So it does have all the cool little gaskets that it has, um, it is rechargeable, which is like critical to me. So when they asked me, you know, if I'd be up for it, I'm like, well, it's gotta be re rechargeable. And so they, it's super waterproof. So here I'm actually unwinding to a point where I can get to the USB-C, which is right there. So that's the charging side and nice fine threads. And it has the 18650 battery and it does come with a charging cable nice big 3500 milliamp uh, lithium 181650 so that's why you get such great lumens and long run times um, does come with a headband which you'll see later a three-way headband and uh, in the bracket so now as a backpacker, this is this is way more than I need for backpacking. Um, from a ultralight, it's too heavy. Um, I need it to actually last a long time. So its low settings are fine. It's fine. Um, I use it every night, like with all my headlamps. Um, I've got lots of people in my family. Plus, we go um, dog walks in rain and snow and every you know every day so my headlamps are used all the time so i've been using this for a while um, and it's just a lot for a backpacker but i am also a skier so i've got velcro on that end velcro on my ski helmet awesome works great and i also dirt bike so dirt bike helmet velcro now i've got headlamp which is a huge benefit um a lot of times when we're out riding you know you ride so long and it suddenly gets dark and a lot of dirt bikes don't have headlamps on them so this is going to be great my my honda has a headlamp on it but most of the other people don't yeah a little velcro and that's on there real good i'll be able to see great i'm going to probably put another piece of velcro on my bike helmet so Fantastic, sounds like my neighbor's starting up his uh, chainsaw. So let's get to more of the details and uh, so you can see exactly how it works. So the basics is one of these types that has the, the battery and it rotates in this little harness. Uh, has a three uh, head strap, goes around then over the top of your head, which is great because this is a heavy, heavy flashlight. It's not like a ultralight um, backpacker style. It's got a spotlight, a floodlight, and a red light. And then there's another indicator light. Okay, so the basic, what does it weigh? 5.9 ounces. Or 169 grams. So to turn it on, click it once, and it goes right to this ultra low on the spotlight. Uh, but it does have memory, so wherever you've landed it last, that'll stick where it comes back to. So if we just hit the plus button, 
I'll put all the different lumens down below. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> so it just goes through the different lumens. Then if we hold the button down, then we get into the flood. Now you can transition between the two. I'm just gonna hold this minus button down and it'll transition over to the flood and anywhere in between if I hit the minus button and the flood button. So it just goes back and forth. Now we'll step down the, the floodlight. Now if I wanna go turbo, I just hold the side button down, then it goes to this turbo mode, which is like 2000 lumens for 60 seconds. I can actually feel it warming up in there. It's getting hot. Um, then to go back, you just hit that power button. Now we'll hit it twice. And once it's off, you hit it twice, then you get to your red lights. And you can step through the different red light features and SOS features. That is all the different features it has. So I like to start it off on the the low on the spotlight. So or I can you know, put it up. So if I put it there and I turn it off, turn it back on, it goes right back to where I had it. All right. So let's start off with the spot and the spot at its lowest one lumen and there's no way you're going to see anything but if i hold paper out here so that's a one lumen spot let's bring it up a little bit so that's the next next rate which is now this is 50 lumens on the spot That's 250 lumens with the spot. And that is, that's 950 lumens with the spot. Let's rotate that up a little bit. Yep, there we go. And that is the 1800 lumens. That wasn't that big a jump. You can definitely see way out on the spot. Switch back to flood. Yeah, so either way. Fine. That's flood at their one lumen, so it's definitely plenty for that. Let's move up to the next flood is... So that's 45 lumens. And let's go to 250 on the flood. And 850 on the flood. And then that's 1400. Doesn't seem to be a big jump between the two. So now I'm back on spot, and then if I hold the flood down, it'll switch between the two. I don't know if you can really tell what's going on there, but it'll, you can find like a happy medium between the two. You know, there's the red. So that's three. That's three on the red. And it goes, whoa, come on, go back all the way. So that's three on the red. That's 25 on the red. Then we go to 'cause the strobe on the red. And there's the strobe on the white. And this is SOS. That's the brighter strobe. Wow, it's bright. <laughs> okay, then that's back to turbo. That's like super bright. All right, there we go.
We'll fade it down to back to the spot. And there we are, the flood, a spot, and this is flood. Cool. Okay, well, there you go. The Nikkor HC68 headlamp. Uh, I'll put all the links, all the specs down below. All right. See you out on the bike trail, I guess. Dirt biking, ski trail on the trail. See you later. Bye now.